ultrasound is just a really, really helpful diagnostic tool in that it's non-invasive. We don't have to go to surgery or anesthetize the dog or cat. Really all they have to do is lay on their side and have their belly shaved um, and get their face scratched for about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, and so what it helps us with compared to x-ray is that we get different information. An x-ray might say, okay, it looks like there's a mass in the belly, but sometimes you can't tell if that mass is associated with one organ or two organs or there's something else going on in addition. And usually we can sort that information out with ultrasound. Most of our patients are somebody's kid, whether they're furry kids and they've got two-legged kids as well. We understand how important they are to them. Our goal is to be gentle with them. We don't want to hurt them. If they're uncomfortable, we're going to address that before doing the ultrasound because it's, it's meant to be a calming procedure. And as I tell a lot of my patients, and especially my cat owners, nothing should be stressful or to be make this a bad experience because in the next level they're just going to be more stress going into it so my goal is it should not be that way and we'll do everything we can not to do it if your pet has been scheduled for an ultrasound whether through mobile or outpatient uh, we do ask that they be fasted 12 hours before the procedure um, it just allows us to see their belly better um, they can't have water all the way up to the time that they, they visit the hospital. Um, but if your pet is on medications and it needs medications that morning, they can always call to ask us if it's appropriate for them to be given that morning. We also ask that they not be allowed to, to urinate outside because it's, it's actually easier to evaluate the bladder if the, if the bladder's full. The animal will most likely be shaved to some degree because hair interferes with ultrasound images and some animals we don't have to shave as much as others and we take that into consideration as an animal to animal basis. That just we want to be able to get the most information so we want the best preparation possible for them. So, so during an outpatient ultrasound generally what will happen is um, an owner will bring their pet to upstate vet. At that point their pet will be taken back and the ultrasound will be performed. Generally it will take about 45 minutes for the ultrasound study to be complete. Uh, once it's finished up we'll actually do a written report that we will fax or email to their, their vet at that time and we will actually call their veterinarian on the phone discuss those findings at the time and that way as their pets leaving the hospital their vet is already being updated on, on what the findings are and a plan is being developed for that long-term care. I think as far as mobile ultrasound the biggest convenience for the client is being able to to go to, to their regular vet, they're used to the hospital, they're used to the receptionist, they're used to those technicians, and so they, you know, it's a feeling of home, and, and they get that procedure done at their home um, with their regular vet. Usually we'll come in and actually, while we're doing the ultrasound, most veterinarians will actually come in and actually watch the ultrasound at the same time. That way, as the ultrasound is being performed, we're able to actually discuss the results go over the findings for the ultrasound and what the next steps might be so that that veterinarian can continue the, the patient's care in their own hospital.